Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tales of Arise. Last time we left off, we got introduced to the training grounds, and we also came down here into the mines, where there's something conveniently hiding behind this mysterious door that none of the Danans can see, so... R1. That Kisara woman. She sounded pretty smug about serving Dohalim, didn't she? She still has a Renin for a boss. How is that any different from being a slave? Renin society is a meritocracy. To us, it's seen as natural that those who sit at the top rule over the rest. It's the same old wall as the rest of Dana at the end of the day. Just with a different coat of paint. I guess it can change people's attitudes if they can at least serve someone they respect. But they're still being deceived. It's obvious that's what's happening. On the one hand, her loyalty really did seem to be genuine. But on the other hand, Calaglia had its fair share of Danans who just accepted Ren and Rule because it was all they'd ever known. With that in mind, it can be hard to tell if her loyalty truly came about on its own, or if it's just the result of years of subjugation. Who knows? It might clear some things up if we hear what Doholim has to say. Yeah, you're right. Let's make our way to the palace. Yeah, methinks the, uh, Danans here may have a bit of the old Stockholm Syndrome. They're like, well, we're not being abused as badly as the other Danans, so, you know, we got it pretty good, actually. In reality, you shouldn't be abused at all. Whew. I don't sense any more enemies. We haven't sent- we haven't fought enemies in quite a bit, Law. I just don't get it. The Danans have endured years of suffering. How could they just turn around and trust the Renans all of a sudden? Yeah, I've been wondering the same thing. But I guess they must have a pretty good reason, right? Like what? What could erase 300 years of pain and suffering? Maybe it's precisely because they suffered for so long that they see Dohalim as something of a savior. Hey, whose side are you on here, Alfin? Relax, Rinwell. All I'm saying is that we shouldn't jump to assumptions about these people until we know more about the situation. Hmm. <laughs> I just don't get it. Neato. Alright. So, we need to go to the palace. Is there anything else we can do? Kind of side content-y? Uh... Doesn't appear to be so. At this point, I'm assuming that guy that we're supposed to be waiting on to change his clothes won't change his clothes until post-game, so... Yeah. So I think we, ooh, I can go uh, check in on my ranch because I do believe we have some animals growing over here. So that could be convenient. Finally, if only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Where are you at rats? I think that was the only one. I think. Certainly don't see anything else, so... Alright, friendo. Uh, we have all of our livestock that have grown. Raise more livestock. Uh, same as always. I wish I could just do this same thing every single time. Like, have a quick select one of each with fattening feed. There we go. Alright, so now we can go ahead and get out of here. Let's go ahead and go to Vicent, and we can go check out the palace and see what Dohalim has to say for himself. I guess that towering structure at the center is the palace. You think it's dangerous to go inside? It's not a question of danger. We're going inside regardless. This is true. I mean, he's letting us walk up to the doorstep. We could take the opportunity just to do a big murder. You again. After we parted ways, an urgent petition from the citizenry, citizenry came in. Lord Doalim is current, currently busy responding to it. As such, I must ask for you to wait until he finishes his business. Once preparations are complete, I'll lead the way. Okay, so we gotta wait.
Oh. Pretty fancy place they got here. There's no way this isn't a trap. Your guests, my lord. Thank you, Kisara. You're the wielder of the Blazing Sword, the liberator of Calaglia. You do dress humbly for someone of such grandeur. But where are my manners? I am the ruler of Elda Menencia. I'm Lord Dohilim Ilkaris. If you know who we are, then you know how strange it is to invite us into your palace. I thought I'd clear up your misconceptions before things could escalate. What do you say? <sighs> You did come here to defeat me, did you not? Perhaps, and what if we did? Are you planning to fight us here? I don't think that will be necessary. After all, I imagine you've taken in a fair amount of his scent by this point. Have you come across even one slave being abused? Soldiers killing for sport? Suffering of any form? I would hazard that you have not. For I have liberated Menencia from its suffering, and brought joy to its people. But if these results are not enough to stay your sword... I commend you for your boldness, but it won't work on me. Still... Your would-be assassination cannot go unpunished. Elfin! Fair enough. Allow me to host you for dinner. We shall continue our talk then. Kelzalik? Yes, my lord. Please escort our guests if you would be so kind. As you wish, sire. I saw you in the cutscene, and quarterstaff users are awesome! That's what you get for being so careless. What I get? What were you thinking attacking him on your own? What are you upset about? Our whole goal is supposed to be overthrowing the Lords. Remember? He could have been hurt. And it wouldn't have been the first time either. What's gotten into you? <sighs> hey, you do know that Alfin is really just worried about you, right? He's worried? I mean, that's what it looked like to me. Uh, but, um, maybe not. Xion, loose cannon. Increased max AG. Yeah, god, I love quarterstaff users, so I'm immediately into this character. They're so cool. Alright. Digging the hair, too. The red is nice. Anything I want here? Was I... I think I was saving up for... A something. Uh... Oh, increased crit damage. Yeah, okay. Well, Doalim, let's see what you're serving for dinner. It pains me to see that Renan cuisine isn't to your liking. I asked my chefs to prepare only the finest delicacies available. Two wasted opportunities. <laughs> Why did you set the Danans here free when you took over? Ah, uh, but you are mistaken. You see, I may rule single-handedly, but on my own even I cannot change the order of things. But what is within my power is the welfare of the people, the fostering of a mutual respect among the classes. This I can change. Sounds a lot like the Danans are still oppressed, if you ask me. Only in the sense they continue to serve as laborers, yes. However, I assure you they are fairly compensated for their efforts. This harmony we strive for is the current pinnacle of Ren and Danan coexistence. Harmony and coexistence between the Renans and the Danans. What about the crown contest? This doesn't exactly make you a shoo-in. 
And yet, the Danans here are even more productive than when they used to face daily lashings. In any case, the crown contest is of little importance to me, and even less to Elda Menencia. You see, I have no interest in becoming sovereign. <laughs> Stop this! Please! It's over! Stop! Kind of just defending himself. <laughs> it is not by choice that one assumes the throne of a realm. But Sovereign is a different matter entirely. I have no interest in playing their game. Are you saying you'll withdraw from the contest? I guess if you don't plan to ascend the throne, there's not much reason to harvest energy from Danans, is there? Let the ambitious fight it out amongst themselves. All I care for is maintaining peace throughout my realm. So what? Your personal desires are all that matter to you? Take a look in the mirror. I may not play their games, but you have outright betrayed your own. You've torn down two of my fellow lords. What precisely is your aim? <sighs> Spare me your answer. I care not for your reasons. Suffice it to say, I will not impede you. That said, should you threaten the peace of my realm, I will respond. I suggest you conclude your business and leave Menencia at your earliest convenience. Kelzalik! Our guests depart. Please see to their lodgings for the night. I shall arrange for rooms for you all at a local inn. It is a short ways down the road. You may stay there for the night, after which I suggest you promptly make your departure. Hmm. Well, you're an interesting character. I like this. This is a pretty Damn, neat storyline. Look at how ritzy this place is. How many rooms do you think it's got? Don't you think you're being a little too relaxed? They could strike at any moment. If they were going to attack us, they would have done it already. So you're the blazing sword of Colaglia now, huh? Come to think of it, I remember Ganabelt calling you that too. Yeah. You're getting to be pretty famous among the lords. Yeah, and that's not a good thing either. What do you mean? That's something you should be proud of, if anything, Alfin. They're scared of you, man. You're a real badass. It's not as simple as that, Law. The more well-known he is, the more people might come after him. 
No, that's not what I'm worried about. It isn't? When people call me that, it feels like there's something hanging over me that shouldn't be there. It's hard to put into words, but it's something that doesn't feel like a part of me. Something I can't let be a part of me. Or else. Hmm. Well, I still think it's pretty amazing, but that's just me. Yeah. Makes sense. Alfin's not exactly super excited to take on the title. It's just kind of something that came. Alright, so we have the dining hall. Wow, there's a lot of rooms to explore here. Uh, I wonder if there's anything to actually get in any of these rooms. Door is tightly shut. We can go into the office. I wonder if they'll just let us go into the treasury. Hello. Okay, this is your place. The inn that we have reserved for you is straight down the road once you leave the palace. Do not make His Excellency regret this generosity. Are you sure this is such a good idea, Sir Kelzalik? You don't realize that our guests are still here. We'll have this conversation later. Yeah, I'm kind of right here, man. Hey, isn't my meal ready yet or what? I'm sorry, we're still fixing it. Right, still waiting on that paperwork I asked for too. Terribly sorry, I'll go check on what's happening with that right away. Yeah, I mean, you guys are like, we're not oppressing them, but you still, like, are kind of ruling over them and telling them what to do and everything. They're not their own people. Like, don't get me wrong, what you're doing is better than what's happening in the other places, but it's still not right. Sorry, I can't let anyone into the Lord's Chamber without a prior appointment. I'm going to have to ask you all to leave. But this is an interesting, interesting character because it's, you know, like right away you're not like, oh my god, they're inherently evil. They're not just straight up asshole evil like Balsef. There's a, they have a few more wrinkles to them, which is always nice. Ooh, treasure. Hi, do you guys mind if I rob you? Pork bun recipe. A slice of cubed pork belly inside a springy wheat bun. One bite of the moist meat poking out is enough to send any hungry eater into euphoria. Ugh. Gosh. Well... Uh, I want Japanese food today. I think that's what we've decided. <laughs> figured the only books Kisara would have on her shelves would be about combat. They also found cookbooks and fishing books in her room. Ooh! I mean, I'm pretty sure we get you on the party at some point. Are you gonna be the one that teaches me how to fish? Gee, I wonder who got her interested in those things. Ah, we're already finding out little details about Kisara's character. The best offense is a good shield. <clears throat> An illustrated guide to shields. Shield Historia. Whoever owns these books sure likes shields. Ah, Goofy must live here. Good old Goofy. Alright, what's up, Kisara? Whatever you think of him personally, we guardsmen have sworn an oath of loyalty to serve and protect Lord Doalim. Anyone who attempts to disturb the peace and stability that our lord has worked so hard to realize shall be met with no mercy. Yeah, I like your... Like your, uh... Your no fun, super serious attitude. Can't wait to break that apart in skits later. And you just be dorky with the rest of us. I love that about JRPGs. Like, we, you have your serious moments and stuff, but I really, really love the... Kind of chill moments where the, all the facades and the super seriousness comes down and... Your party members just can just be dorks together. Like in a few of, uh, the skits we've already had. It's just always nice to see. Helps you kind of feel attached to the characters and all. Hello. Locked. What do you got to say? This is Lord Dolim's private quarters. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm just trying to make sure I explore everything that I can here. Uh, we've done that whole side, so I got barracks, entrance plaza, meeting room. Okay, so I want to hit this, uh, place and then hit that other one down there. Uh, ha! Ha ha, we can go into the meeting room. Ooh, and there's stuff. See, this is why you go. A lemon. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's one way to sleep. That's one way to sleep. Just lay on the bed like you're in a coffin. Mm-hmm. And not how I would choose to do it. It's always funny how games do that, because you don't want to worry about animating the actual blanket or making the blanket look good over someone's body. 
So you usually just lay them on top of the bed because it's an easy way to get around having to do that pro uh, that uh, thing. Eat shell. I'm under the assumption none of you understand how beds work. All right, let's go. Renan Armored Soldier. All right, that was just yeah back to the entrance plaza. So now I just need to go to the staff quarters and barracks. And I've been validated in my decision to check all of these rooms because there's been stuff in these rooms. Including a recipe in one of them, which is pretty important, I'd say. Getting all kinds of new recipes. This magnificent palace forms the center of Menencia. Where did our ancestors used to be able to read and write? We all forgot how to do it. Yeah, but look at you now, dispensing medicine like a pro. It's nothing I can't learn from reading books, and once I figured out how to write, I started recording what I learned for future reference. I'm so thankful to Lord Doalim for giving us so many wonderful chances to learn and improve myself. Our ancestors used to be able to read and write. Did Danans used to have their own language? Is the Danan language still around? I feel like it's probably been mentioned at some point. Like, maybe Danans have been oppressed for so long that the Renans kind of wiped out their language. That's usually the first step you go to when you oppress someone, because they then they can't, like, you know, share ideas amongst themselves that only they can understand. You usually make them uh, start using your language. Imperial China did that a lot with the places they conquered. We have so much to be grateful for. If it wasn't for Lord Doalim, we wouldn't be able to live together like this despite being unrelated. Yes, you're right. I'm so glad I have you, sis. You feel so warm and soft. Somebody's getting sleepy. I think it's bedtime. Okay. Hello. Anything in here of importance? Is that a bed I can just sleep in? Found a hastily scrawled note. Commerce with Mahagsar grows more inscrutable by the day. We send vast quantities of resources, but only receive a pittance of dodgy goods in return. Is his lordship aware of this? Interesting. So what is Mahagsar exactly? One of the five realms of Dana. From the sound of it, Kelzalik had some dealings with them. Interesting. They must not be doing very well if they can't get resources out at a steady pace. Selection of books on etiquette. The titles also- uh, the titles alone make your posture go rigid. Eh, it's calling me out for not having good posture. You sure are working hard for a young boy your age. It's because my dad collapsed working in the quarry. He's recovering in the medical facility, so I have to take over for him until he gets better. It's real big of you. I should send the young guys who sleep on the job to talk to you. Maybe then they'll take their work seriously. Alright. I think that's it. I think that's it. Alright. Out of here. The Renan homeworld. Visible in the skies above Dana. Alright. So, this should be... Yeah, the entrance plaza. There we go. What else you got for me, castle? That was just the second floor that I explored. Okay, but now we can go down to the first floor. There's nothing else in the second for me to examine, I don't think. Oh, uh, oh, never mind. There was something hiding back there. I just thought to look in these alcoves really quickly to make sure there wasn't anything, and sure enough... Lord Doalim sure is an unusual lord. I can't believe he treats the embedded so... Hey, we're not supposed to call them that anymore, remember? Right, my fault. Old habits, old habits die hard. So some of the Renans, of course, don't like it. They would prefer to be the crazy oppressors that they're used to being. I'm sure some of them, some of them are just itching for someone to resist so that they can give them a beatdown just because they like that so much. All right, what's the first floor got? Um, staff waiting room, storeroom. Oh my God, there's a lot in here. I mean, it's a palace. It's, it is nice to actually be able to explore, explore like a full-sized palace in one of these games, because usually it's just like one room in the throne room and maybe like a treasury room, and they don't really let you explore much else. Because they're like, well, we don't want to actually make an entire castle. That would take a long time to explore, but I want to explore it. I want to see the big castle. And there are a lot of games where you can't explore the whole castle. I just mean a lot of the time because they don't want to go through the 
process of actually modeling an entire castle. They usually limit the amount of rooms you can go to, but... Like, I can go in the kitchen over here. God, there's so much stuff to get. Wow, and there's also an owl in here. And it's got a crown. Crown, a co crown commonly worn by monarchs, although it looks suspiciously similar to the one worn by a certain owl. You stole the Owl King's crown? Maybe something's going on in the forest. Ooh, I should go back to the forest and get that stuff, actually. Beef? How terribly mundane. Do you know how much beef I can get on my own? Lemon. And tomato. Okay. Just stole a bunch of your foodstuffs. Don't mind me. It's the hero tax. I just whip out a document that explains the hero tax anytime anyone calls me out on stealing a bunch of shit. Like, please read subsection B. Alright. Just want to go over here to the library. Hopefully there's some interesting documents in here. It would be cool to read, like, old Dan in history. If they have it. It might have been a book burning, book burning to get rid of most Dan in history at some point. What is this place? The shelves here are filled with books! Not just Renan books, either. There are tons of Danon ones, too! Cool. Rinra, I get that you're excited, but we've got more important things to worry about right now. Y yeah you're right. Sorry. Alfin, we just went into the kitchen and robbed all their food. I, I think Rinwell can look forward to the library if she wants. It's amazing to watch these children grow up. They won't even think twice about who's Renan and who's Danon when they're adults. It's because you're such a great teacher, miss. Look at you. I can't believe you already know how to flatter someone so well. Miss, there's something I just don't get. Me too. Alright, alright. One at a time now, children. Hey, yeah, they're teaching the kids. And... treasure? Omelette recipe. Wow, that's two recipes I've gotten just from this location. Huh. Feel sorry for someone that didn't just explore this entire place. Just kind of looked at how much there was and said, screw it. I hate to bother you, but would it be possible for you to help with my studies? It would mean a lot if you did. Why, well, certainly. I'm more than happy to help with Lord Doalim's efforts to spread education to the underprivileged. After all, a more educated populace makes for a richer realm in more ways than one. And that includes the Danans. Thank you so much. I'll do my best to make the most of this opportunity Lord Doalim has given us. Yeah, it's... it's a... It's a weird one. It's like they're still being oppressed, but they're like, Oh, thank you, thank you for the little bit of rope that Lord Duolim does give him. Uh, does give the Danans. And... hello. Oh, I thought... okay, that was weird. I got the perspective on you mixed up. I thought you were facing, like, this way. I didn't know that was your back. So I was like, what is with this character's posture? And then I saw the head. I don't know, my eyes just my eyes are playing tricks on me. Dan and Customs. Okay, that's it. Can we read about Dan and Customs? Or is it just a book on Dan and Customs? I guess Alvin didn't lie. He really doesn't have time. Joke's unfit for a dinner party. Even Renans enjoy their fair share of lowbrow humor, it seems. Yeah. Practical Astral Arts, Theories and Applications. Uh-huh. Introduction to the Government of Linagus. A Chronology of the Crown Contest. A swordsmanship book with a slashed cover. Did the reader get mad at the book or use it in a fight? <laughs> swordsmanship book with a slashed cover. Joys of Fine Liquor, a compendium of Menancian breweries. The Fashionista's Guide to Linagus Attire and Armor. We need to get that for, uh, uh, Xion. These are thick astral energy research tomes. So hard to read, they can put you to sleep. Uh-huh. These books are about the art of torture. What are these black splotches on the cover? Gee, I wonder. Working slaves to the bone while maintaining productivity. <laughs> Well, if that doesn't kind of nail home what they're doing here, boy, I mean, just go ahead and say it, why don't you? Hello, orange gel. 
And whatever this final thing is. 2,451 days left. 2,450 days left. It's a diary of a Renan who counted down the days to the crown contest. Interesting. Alright. And that appears to be it for the library. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Phew. Alright, so that's the library. We still have the storeroom one and storeroom two, but we're at 30 minutes now, so I think we're gonna go ahead and end this one off here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Tales of Rise, and I'll see you next time.